More? Yes? If there's no time lines in the universe, and if we're all flying in How do you factor reincarnation? Hmm. Well, to answer your question, first of all, time isn't a line. And that's like one of the biggest problems that we have in our heads, because we all think of time as linear. But it's, remember, like that sphere, like the circle. So it's all happening like all the time in those circular kind of ways. And if you think about it as a line, it becomes really difficult to try and like conceive of it. You know, so I think it's not that there isn't time, it's that it's the same as, time is the same thing as space and material and exists. It's like you can't separate it out of the web and the circle. It's happening along with it. It's not like there's, there's time and there's stuff and there's you and they all like don't exist in the same space. Like they're all together, at, like always at the same, in the same place. And history is Exactly, exactly. You can't separate them out. Because people try to separate them out. Like if you think about yourself as a person, if you find that you think of yourself in terms of a line, and you'll imagine, okay, so here I was when I was a little kid, and then I was this, and then I was this. And you think of yourself linearly, right? Instead of as an entity that exists timeless and always, right? You break yourself up into these little echelons of places that you've been and people that you knew. And you can't think of yourself in totality or even in a future sense, because you can only think of the person that you've known in this very linear fashion. So in order to like try and conceive of that, it's really fun to imagine yourself in the future. I encourage everyone to try to imagine your future self, because that's a good way to start breaking out of the line, and imagine yourself in a totality as, a, as the soul that you are. It's fun to do, too. <laughs> yes? Uh, going back to the parallel universes. Every time you make a decision, mm -hmm. is there a parallel self of, your, of yourself making the opposite choice that you're making here? There's so one you're making, living both things at the same time. That's right, that's right. There's actually, they're making every possible decision that could be made, not just the opposite, but every variable in between, right? So it's not just like there's there's like Superman and Bizarro, there's actually like all these little intricate like levels in between Superman and Bizarro that like maybe there's just like a lazy dude, you know, I don't know what his name is, maybe Gary or something. And he's like another <laughs> version of Superman and Bizarro and he's there too because that's another option that could have happened to Superman. Like what if he gave up? That's the option that would be Superman if he gave up. So it's like there's an infinite amount of possibilities that are all so simultaneously existing, not just plus and minus. Because even in like atoms, if you look at an atom, everyone thinks, okay, there's like protons and electrons, and then maybe they'll recognize neutrons. And then there's also all these other subatomic particles that don't have a charge or have like a little weird thing, like, you know, gluons and all these crazy things that they've discovered. So there's like a lot of wiggle room, not just plus and minus. <laughs>